Hey guys, Brian here with APD. Today we're going to check out our brand new deal for this week, the first one of the week. It is the Rigid Audio Bundle and it includes a brand new library that just released. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so here is the bundle. It includes three libraries. Uh, Limerence, this one is the new one. It's it looks like sore. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume it's not pronounced like that, like sore or something. I don't know. Anyway, and then Atheos. So let's check this one out. Rigid Audio Sore Sore. However the hell you say it. Um, if you guys remember, like Cinematrix and uh, Aquiver, I believe was the other one. This is similar to it, and it's a cinematic uh, loop construction kit engine. So we have. Um, basses down here in different bass melody ambience and groove so so what you do is just piece them together obviously and you do bass Groove ambience. Pretty nice bass line there. Bass pulse. Copy. There we go. Now we can check out different categories here, all in the snapshots. So one through 350 different snapshots here. And while we're doing that, you can also just like mix and match from the different uh, labels there. So if you want to base, from a different one and you know mix and match grooves from this snapshot melodies from this snapshot blah 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 you can do that all here So you have tuning there, panning, um, different effects here, and then you can solo or mute each layer. I guess we'll just, you know, go through some of the snapshots since it's easier to hear the sounds. But just remember, you can really just mix and match and do different basses and grooves and do whatever you want or just the bass lines if you don't want the ambience or whatever. So a lot of these seem, you know, pretty gritty and um, glitchy.
Or you could do something like that. A nice um, groove there. You know, some of the grooves are more like textural and just like shifting frequencies and stuff like that. That one was more, you know, like a percussive um, type loop. Um, I guess check out a couple more. that's got like a more of a pulsing feel to it pretty trippy one there So those are some of the kits that you can get, or the snapshots actually. Um, let's check out the very last one, just for shits and gigs. Um, well, second to last one. <laughs> So the effects on there, you can also, you know, turn off the effects. Some of them had, you know, delay going on there and reverb and whatnot. Some of them were having some overdrive as well. So that was Soar, Soar A, however you say it. Um, this is a brand new product. Uh, let's go check out, I'll do that one last because it's the most simple one. This is Atheos. <laughs> It's got these four different engines up here. It's the sampler engine, a time machine engine, which does time stretching effects, tone machine, and then noise. So you have these four different parts here. Then you have sequencers down here and also effects, effects slot one through five down here. Now I'm going to scroll through some of the presets and play around a little bit with the settings, um, but it's really deep complex instrument so know that there's a lot more to do with this than just you know loading up snapshots so here you can just like kind of hear each layer on its own So you can like play the samples in forwards or reverse. There's these different stretching options you can get. You can get some really strange mangled sounds. You click this and you can scroll through the different sounds that are available currently. And then we have snapshots up here. So bright, damage, dark, different categories there.
You can hear that one. It's just like a... It says river streams here. So it's it's like the sound of a river and then it's, you know, totally warped, mangled. You can click this and, you know, reverse the samples and stuff like that. There's some really weird textures you can get. really really uh creepy sounding so the main gist of it is that we have four different engines here Sample, time machine, tone machine, and noise. And then a, four different sequencers down here for each engine. So you can have a ton of different automation and modulation going on down here. Uh, up to 128 steps here, or just two. Um, so you can get some really strange, bizarre, atmospheric, ambient textures. Really de- uh, <clears throat> excuse me, really degraded sounding there, the lo-fi sections. Let's check out some of the rhythmic. So yeah, you have m multiple layers going on, and it's this really, you know, strange, granular, stretched, warped type textures you can get with that. Um, finally, we'll do limerence, which is much more simple, as you can see. And I always forget to switch the instrument to the one I actually want to play. I'm not even holding the keys right now. It's just... Just going. So, this one operates a little bit differently because we don't have the snapshots. We have different instruments here. So let's take a peek there on these different categories. So just to keep an idea of the number of sounds you have to go with.
It's like almost like some kind of bit crushing effect there. So now that you know how those controls work, we'll check out the instruments themselves. Some really cool uh, reverse effects in that one. Drones. So that one you get like these really, you know, airy, ambient textures, very like beautiful kind of, you know, like a shining type, uh, you know, layer that you can put over on pretty much any kind of track. There's, you know, really nice underscore textures, pads, stuff like that. Um, Soar, Soar A was the one with the loops. It's a lot like Cinematrix, just, you know, brand new sound set. This one seems a bit more uh, glitchy and dark um, as opposed to the one I just mentioned, Cinematrix. And then uh, that's what we just did. And then Atheos was the most complex one here. Uh, I think, you know, sound designers will really love this. Uh, while there are presets for... Uh, the people who like presets and snapshots, this one is going to be really, really deep with four different sequencers, four different engines, um, and the effect slots you can chain together. Um, a lot of really crazy granular type sounds and stretch, you know, stretched sounds that you can get with that one. So this is the bundle. It's super duper cheap right now. Uh, if you need pads, ambience, textures, crazy sound design, um, you got it all right here. And remember the Sore uh, library is brand new, so take advantage of that. Check out what they have to offer there. And it's a super duper cheap bundle, but there's a lot of really unique stuff you can do with it. Really shape your own sound instead of just, you know, using the stuff everyone else has. So. Thanks so much uh, for checking this one out with me, and we will be back very soon for the next deal. And remember to subscribe and uh, let us know what you think of this. Leave us a comment. We always love hearing from you, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.